Hello, Osmosis learners. Welcome to another exercise on Osmosis with ClickSand 2.0. In today's exercise, we'll be showing you how to implement an aggregated renewable target constraint using a dummy technology. To get started, please go see the Znoto link at the bottom of this video. Please make sure you are on the newest version available, the version you can see here. Once you have accessed the Znoto page, you should see a web page like the one on the screen now. Here you'll see three files. The Brazago base sand-ts8.xlsm is a classical clicksand file which you'll be using to follow the tutorial. The Brazago total annual activity lower limit calculation.xlsx is a helper file where we will show how to calculate the numeric value used for the constraint in this exercise. Finally, the re mix constraint.pdf explains this exercise step by step. We'll cover all the needed steps in this video, but feel free to consult with the PDF as needed. In this exercise, as mentioned, we'll be implementing constraint for a renewable production target. We'll achieve this in ClickSand by using a so-called dummy technology. The renewable target we'll be implementing comes from a policy for the fictional Brazago government. In this policy, the government aims to have at least 50% of their nominal electricity produced by utility solar and wind technologies from 2040 onwards. They exclude electrical demands met by heating, transport, and cooking. Please note the modeling period in this example is from 2015 to 2050. Now, let's go to the ClickSand file to determine which technologies are a part of this policy. Looking at the sets sheet in our ClickSand file, we can confirm there are seven solar and wind technologies. I'll now point them out. The first is solar PV for utility. Next is onshore wind, offshore wind, power Sol 001S, or utility scale PV with two hour storage, onshore wind power plant with storage, and finally, solar PV for distributed with storage. Going to the parameter sheet, we can see which of these technologies are indeed utility technologies. Utility technologies are connected to ELC001 in this example. Therefore, they should have an output activity ratio of one for ELC001. Let's now filter for the output activity ratio of our technologies and determine which are connected to ELC001. So I'll go to the parameter column and search output. Next, we'll go to the technology column and search for the prefix power, then unselect all search results and find our seven technologies. Finally, our wind technologies, and that's seven. Next, we'll go to fuel, and we're going to search for ELC001. There we go, select OK. And what we see here are, we now notice all except PowerSoul002 are technologies which are relevant to our policy. Therefore, in the preceding steps, we will only consider these six technologies for meeting the policy's renewable target. Quickly, we want to show what happens if you use an incorrect approach by following the guidelines in the exercise video, track two, adding constraints to a model. In that exercise, total technology annual activity lower limit is used to ensure a technology is generating a specified amount of electricity. However, as seen below here, if this constraint is applied to each of the six technologies a part of our policy, then starting in 2040, will significantly overproduce electricity as observed by the large jump. This occurs because each technology independently is required to produce the target. Therefore, these six technologies alone will produce an aggregated amount of over 300% the nominal electricity demand. Next, we'll show how to properly use the total technology annual activity lower limit with a dummy technology 
to ensure the aggregated generation from these six technologies meet the target without overproduction. Now we'll begin with introducing the concept of the dummy technology. Here we see a conceptual reference energy system with the dummy technology. On the left-hand side, we see our six technologies a part of the policy. Here. These technologies are all originally connected to ELC001, or in other words, they have an output activity ratio of one for ELC001, as we saw earlier. What we will do here is modify their output activity ratio to make sure they are connected to a dummy fuel, which is consumed by our dummy technology. In this exercise, COM027 will be used as our dummy fuel, and TEC088 will be used as our dummy technology. By having our dummy technology consume the dummy fuel with an input activity ratio of 1 and generate ELC001 with an output activity ratio of 1, we are ensuring that any electricity generated from our dummy technology corresponds to electricity generated from at least one of our six technologies within the policy, those seen on the left-hand side. In non-technical terms, our dummy technology records the amount of electricity generated from our six technologies and then transmits it. By recording and transmitting the electricity through the dummy technology, we are now able to give it a total technology annual activity lower limit based on our policy, which can ensures that the aggregated renewable generation from our six technologies meets our policy. This is true since the only way our tech dummy technology can generate electricity is by receiving electricity from the six technologies. Therefore, if the dummy technology generated at least 50% of the nominal electricity demand then our six technologies have been used to produce that electricity. Next, we'll walk through the steps of modifying the ClickSand file to set up our dummy technology. Now we will modify the ClickSand file to model our dummy technology. Let's go to the set sheet and add descriptions to our dummy technology. As mentioned, Tech 088 will be used as our dummy technology. We scroll to the bottom here, we'll see it. And here's Tech 088, and I recommend using a description, perhaps renewable dummy technology. Similarly, for our dummy fuel, we'll add a description of renewable dummy fuel. Next, we'll modify the output activity ratio of our six technologies. As shown, all six of them should have a zero for their output activity ratio of ELC001 and a one for COM027, which is our dummy fuel. This should be done for all years within our modeling periods, therefore from 2015 to 2050. Please make these modifications now. Once you've completed the modifications, next, we'll need to modify our dummy technology's input and output activity ratios for COM027 and ELC001, respectively. Let's filter for TEC088, and please make these modifications afterwards. Search for TEC088 here. And sometimes it takes a little bit to load. And these are the mod these are the modifications you'll want to see. So for TEC 088, for its output activity ratio of ELC001, we'll want to have a one. And then output, it doesn't output anything. However, we'll want to ensure that its input activity ratio is set to one. And there we see it. So input activity ratio for TEC 088, please modify it so it's one for all years from 2015 to 2050. Now that we have connected the dummy technology to the renewable technology as a part of our policy, we have only one step left and that is to determine the total technology annual activity lower limit for the dummy technology.
Now we will calculate the values for the total technology annual activity lower limit constraint. As a reference to our document, this is where we are in the document on page six in the section of add renewable generation constraint. Okay, now let's go back to our ClickSand file. So the first thing we need is the total yearly electrical demand. In the simplified exercise, we'll use the specified annual demands of industrial, residential, and commercial loads. In the click sand file, we see that only three demands have non-zero demands for the specified annual demand. Those are the fuels, industrial ELC, residential ELC, and commercial ELC. Normally, we would need to copy these three rows for all years within the modeling period and then paste them into a separate Excel workbook. However, here we, will, we have already created this workbook for which you can find and is titled in this Nodo repository, Razago Total Annual Activity Lower Limit Calculation.SLSX. In this file, we will use these demands to calculate the total technology annual activity lower limit for our dummy technology. Before proceeding to this file, however, we will also need the efficiency values for the power of transmission, power of distribution, which relates ELC001 to ELC002 and ELC002 to ELC003, respectively. This is needed since electrical energy is lost before being delivered to its final destination. These efficiencies are taken from the output activity ratio of power distribution and power transmission. We can locate them as follows. So if we go to our parameter, column, let's go to output activity ratio. Next, we're gonna filter technology once it loads. Okay. Prefix power, unselect, distribution, and transmission. And finally, we'll filter to our fuels, since we're just going to look at ELC 001, 002, and 003. Let's go prefix ELC, and let's grab all three of these. Okay, so as expected for our transmission technology, it only has an output for ELC002, since generation would be fed into it from ELC001. Similarly, for our distribution technology, it only has an output that's non-zero for ELC003 and zero for all others. We also notice that these efficiencies change over time. So what we'd want to do here is copy each of these rows for our power transmission and for our power distribution and we'll use these as efficiency numbers when calculating the total technology annual activity lower limit for our dummy technology. Please do so. And once you've copied them, you should see your Excel file should look something like this, where your power transmission efficiency numbers are here, your power distribution numbers are here, our three specified annual demands for industrial, residential, and commercial should be here. And we'll see in the row below it, we've just summed them all up. So it's just the total amount of demand for every year. And in this workbook that we've provided, we've already put a formula which waits until 2040. And once, 20, once we hit 2040, we start to calculate the total technology annual activity lower limit which is this last row here. This is what you would use to impute the constraint of total technology annual activity lower limit for the dummy technology. The formula that's used, we can actually go see in our document. And here's the formula. So essentially the way it works is since power is lost to transmission, and since we only know the specified annual demand of the end use, we need to account for energy that's generated but is lost on the transmission lines before meeting our final demand. And the way we do that is we'll divide it by the total efficiency or total loss, um, which is calculated up here and is about. So this means essentially that 87.42% of electrical energy generated before transmission distribution, i.e. from our dummy technology, 
actually makes it to the end use. And that's why we need to divide it by 0 0.8742 to scale it up. And we also see a multiplication of 50%. And this is because our given policy target is to have 50%, at least 50% renewables in 2050. And that's exactly what we've done here. If we go back to our calculator workbook, and all you'd have to do now, like I said, is just copy this row. We'll only want to copy it up to 2050 um, because that's actually our modeling horizon cutoff. But here we've actually done it past 2050, but ensure you only copy from 2015 to 2050. And then what you'd want to do is go back to our quicksand file. We'll now filter back. Uh, we can go all for now. Might just take a moment. Okay, let's go to our constraint, total technology. Make sure we select the right one. There's a lot with similar names. Total technology annual activity lower limits, the one we want, not model period. And then we'll go to our dummy technology, which is tech 088. Okay. And then if we look over here, I've already copy pasted it for us to save time. And we can see from 2040 all the way up to 2050, we have our total technology annual activity lower limit set for our dummy technology, which is equivalent to 50% of the nominal electricity demand accounting for transmission losses. Thank you. After pasting the total technology annual activity lower limit for the dummy technology, you're now ready to generate the osmosis cloud input and run the model in osmosis cloud. Afterwards, you can use the conversion tool and generate the following plot based on the annual electricity production. Here we observe the large jump in 2040 is gone and our electricity production grows smoothly as it meets the desired target of 50% in 2040 onwards. Thank you for following this exercise and best of luck in your modeling endeavors.